comparatively inexperienced team to Sonics. To force back Sonics into the basement. You have an angle being taken up, but a nice read here from Gunner, and he's going to get the very first kill of stage two. Merc will go down a couple other obstacles that Wildcard do have to work around to try and provide a new angle that the defense will have to worry about. Candela's flying on in, but Surf won't drop just yet. He's still got two and some time to waste before we actually get to the execute. First kill for Wildcard achieved by Adam onto the marble stairs with his one player just around the corner baiting for the refrag. With how low health Adam was, a headshot wasn't even necessary to secure that kill. Citizen will fall likely to the hatch angle just a little bit later. Instead, it's Spirit's the one to finish him off. Wildcard with very little time left have achieved equalization in the man count, but Sonic just have to hold on for 10 more seconds. Wildcard and advantage quickly eliminated thanks to Gunner and the rest of SQ. Very hectic up in a given round. Spirits, of course, sticking nice. with that trend, has worked his way into stock and removed Rexon's head and gained the advantage for Wildcard. No HP, no nades. Noria's too. A noise coming through here, but you can see Wildcard's position over towards the windows here. He's trying to get a little extra help on that top floor, and it's going to work out as Gunner will take down Packer. That's a big pick as well. Not nearly as much hard breach at Wildcard's disposal as they had the last time, but fortunately enough, this site not really requiring all that much at the end of the day. It's been Sonics all the way through in this round, but finally, Spirits will equalize here, getting us down into the three versus three. Top control go WC's way, but Sonics still with a lot to say about this one, especially with Geo. Into open area. The one thing going SQ's way right now, as we reach 30 seconds left, are those three, now two toxic canisters from Geo to force Wildcard back from certain positions or just stall time. But now he's the only one left. Those toxic canisters will likely remain inside his back pocket. He's got to use the gun up and keep the gun up right now. Really here though, to be able to get rid of the cam and kind of set them up here inside of open area. It's actually going to be Gunner that leads things off now. So take down Spirits. And Gunner lurking inside an elevator. The entirety of that first minute gone undroned by a wild card, perhaps not unnoticed. The end is ERC activated. Wild card might have had an idea that the vigil was around that area, but they weren't able to spot him. He gets the kill, but Adam fights back. Geo now gone. There's still the vigil in the wind and still fighting back and shooting shots. Packer the second to fall to that K1A. And Wildcard now stopped at the door a little bit. They made, or initially made some very good entries and strides into the building, moving into that open area. But now Get too much control over these angles, but it's going to be Merc that finally finds it from a different perspective. Over towards top square, so he'll probably bully his way in through the CEO walls. It's going to force Rexon back down just to try and hold E2. Grix will be stuck inside of Archives with Adam with a big pickup. It's going to be back on to Grixer. A triple now for Adam as he's having a big showcase so far here. Two versus one. This Grix They've just made. So good adaptation to recognize the lack of a round. Oh, the timing. That's unlucky. Oh, no, better. That, that's those moments that it's like, I wonder if Frank knows. I don't know. I'm for a second, I wasn't sure, but Merc's just chilling there. He tries to take the fight. I mean, this is just an active drone, essentially, for the defense. That I know. He unfortunately loses that one. Ooh, Spirits loses his gambit down Marble Stairs, too. Grixer with a very nice two-piece. And Wild Card, they might have adapted quickly, but they're looking for a very late landing in round four. Surf will now take Spirits' position on Marble Stairs, though it's Packer who drops Vault by himself to follow up with a kill. He's created some new space inside of the site. Geo fired off by his teammate's own Goyo. We'll have to take out the gun as we move to a 2v2. He's the no only way. one left now. No oh, way. the shield just saves his life. Packer will have to switch to the secondary, but is it all for not? The seconds matter so Come much on, as Geo backs up Come and on, slows him down in a race against time. And I mean, you got to give credit where credit's due to wild card as well. I mean, Spirit's having a good oh, individual performance. Again, and a, as I was about to say, Adam, man, has had a very excellent debut so far. Sure, he might be traded out, but he's at least taken down Gunner, a C4 for the Sonics. But that does mean with Merc making a beeline for Grixer on the opposite oh, side man. of that wall. Surf now, too. I'm trying to, like, make a cogent point here. And Wildcard have just decided that the round has been going on too long at only a minute and 20 seconds in. Citizen just stirred up the piranhas. Seems like Wildcard have actually potentially done the one thing that's the hardest what thing the to man? do in the history of Rainbow Six Siege. Like, you don't know what that is? What is that? And actually work his way over towards kitchen here with 50 remaining. Oh no. Well, that's just, that's a bummer. I, I was about to talk about how Citizen's position, in addition to Geo's, could provide some good cutoff for any attacker moving down marble yeah, stairs. Right, yeah. uh, but then Wildcar just flooded the sun. Flying on in, but they'll kill so far, they'll continue the trend. 0-6 for this half, giving Wildcard the advantage they so desired. And Adam again, in the clutch, widening it further. 
able to elongate his life because of that. Finds a different angle, and oh, oh man, it's gonna be Merc to find the angle first, but he will go down to Grixer instead. Surf to follow though, and a little potential finding his way through for Sonics, but as soon as I say that, it's gonna be all down to Grixer. Try to rotate around to square. Maybe catch the attackers off guard. One player planning inside of Tellers. Ooh, and he gets the player directly covering him, but now Wildcard have intel on the Fenrir's positioning. Will converge onto this singular spot, but instead it's Packer, the man with the Diffuser himself to secure that final kill. 4-2 half for Sonics, even though let the other three players moving around that top floor get vertical control, open up hatches. Sonics are running a little bit low on drones, four left. Maybe that aided to surf, catching Citizen off guard. Maybe it didn't. The wild card now win the entry engagements 5-2 over the course of this game. Citizen will go down the drone economy, as you were saying, not exactly looking too hot. They're already halfway through, but they're over halfway through the rounds. So they don't have to worry about it really all that much at the end of the day. It's really just about these positions. Wow. Merc, there's no way. I don't know if they had the mark or what have you, but my God, man. What a pre-fire through that wall if it was. Able to take down one. Gunner will be able to find at least one as they'll be able to get Adam out of server. But is it too little, too late? Rexon's trying to step up and assist, but they know where the last two are. And this is more than likely going to be all for naught. Geo will actually get one. Merc will take down Gunner. It's all left up to the Monty. That'd be one of the most insane Monty moments we ever have if this is actually going to be a one versus three. And it'll quickly get swept under the I'm only going to have a couple wild card bodies around here, but it's mostly going to be up to Spirit to try and feed back info to the whole lineup. It's going to be Surf that actually takes down Rexon, who ends up dropping down from the top hatch. A very forward play out of Sonics, and it goes immediately punished. Rexon, man, just having a very rough game so far. I mean, again, it's not entirely left by the wayside with Grixer and Gunner doing decently well, but to the Sonics now. Gunner taking a lot of damage, now finished off by a C4 from below. I mean, at this point, Sam, 7-2 is not out of the cards. No, not at all. I, I think Sonics, they're in the trenches right now, man. They're in the trenches right now, Lynx. This is not the way you want your stage to start. This is a mental boom if I've ever seen one. Geo just got a lurk inside a square. There is somebody playing. It was hard left inside a cafe. He's got secondary utility. There's Grixer, but... There are three different bullet sprays colliding into Geo's body right there. I mean, this is match point for wildcard. Unless I'm gonna be, I'm gonna keep it real. Unless the defense starts throwing, this is this is round eight. Uh, his selection when it comes to a lot of these frags. I mean, yeah, we talked about that kind of like gooberish round in server where he just kind of swung in to see what would happen in CCTV. It's especially if they can close out this last round or close out any of the next four to close this out in regulation. Yeah. It's a big win, period, because Sonic's good opening what pick the, by Rexon well, to get his first. Crazy. Oh, okay, hold up. I'm I'm actually scrapping what I'm talking about. Did you see that? Keep their re chances at qualifying for the major close. If Wildcard also exactly. find themselves in competition for that LCQ spot, this is a big win early on. Absolutely. Oh, what a oh! He gets Rexit on the timing again. He almost kills Surf, but it's going to be Gunner instead to do it. The Legion comes up behind. Sonics have no read, no drone, no idea what's happening around the map at all. Citizen has one inside of open area. He's dead. It's, He's it's gone. Jover. It's the game, baby. It's so Jover. It was Jover last week. Grixer in a one versus three. Toxin. I mean, I'm freeze frame here did you guys ever think that this was going to happen this I is this result? in the future for the sitcom yeah that's me